Weight loss expert and CEO of Happy Healthy Thin, Seth Hendrickson, is joining us to answer a few questions. And Seth, you know, I, you and I were just chatting, and, and it seems that many people think that as you age, it's inevitable that you're going to gain weight. And they just accept that and uh, kind of use it as almost like an, an excuse, right? They, they can do that. Yeah. But yet, you know, there are people like my dad's a really great example of this. Mm -hmm. He can eat whatever he wants. He can drink the soda. He can have the candy. And he's weighed the same he has since high school. Right. Mm -hmm. And then you have those people that really try, you know, and, and after 40, they're, they're really working on doing the salads and drinking the water and doing all those things. And they, they lose like three pounds over the course of two months. And then when they kind of go back to their old lifestyle, it goes right back out the window. OK. And so are, what you're saying is that what you eat doesn't necessarily determine what you weigh. A lot of people believe that it does. And that's an absolute myth. Right. So if your weight determined or was determined by what you ate, everybody that ate really well would be thin. And everybody that breaks the rules, like my dad, would be overweight, and it's just not true. Okay, so, but you actually have a program, though, that addresses that, right? Right. Well, so if, if you're struggling with your weight, you may be asking yourself the wrong question. The question mm -hmm. you should be asking is, how do I improve my metabolism, right? Mm -hmm. So your metabolism controls what you weigh independent of what you're eating, how much you're exercising, or even your genetic makeup. Okay, and you actually have some clients, too, that have benefited from uh, your program. I want to go ahead and start with Erica. Let's do it. Okay. Erica, she's lost uh, 25 pounds over the course of five weeks. What's really cool about her is she had been struggling for years with migraine headaches, chronic fatigue, hormonal balance issues. Um, all of those reverses. She went through our program. She, she's just feeling better, functioning better, and a healthier version of self. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, yeah. and this is also something, too, that works for gentlemen as well. It sure does. Mm -hmm. Yep, this, this handsome lad here, that's me. <laughs> um, I lost over 100 pounds going through our program, and what I, I love sharing with people, that was five years ago. Mm -hmm. Okay, so being able to maintain the result, not just for myself, but the people I work with, is paramount. Okay, yeah, and that's such a great point, too, because so many times you hear people that have had some weight loss success, but then they just go ahead and gain it back, and it becomes that big yo-yo process. But to know that this could actually lead to a great path for somebody to continue to sustain that healthy lifestyle for the rest of their life is just such a big deal. Yep. I just yeah. made a promise to myself that, that was the last time I was going to lose the weight. Mm -hmm. and, th and there you go. There you go. Okay. And then you also have Joanne, right? I do. Okay. Yeah. So Joanne, uh, Joanne lost about 65 pounds going through our program. Wow. Um, you know, her, her energy was weighed down, fatigue stuff, and she was blessed with a beautiful grandbaby. Mm -hmm. Okay. But uh, she was uh, going to be taking care of her a couple days a week, and she's like, there's no way I feel like this that I could ever keep up with a with newborn. So mm -hmm. um, that was her motivating factor. She lost the weight. She's able to keep up. She's able to play in the dirt with her grandkids, and that's what it's all about. That's amazing. Okay, yeah. so, and what I'm loving, too, that you're pointing out as well, Seth, that you also mentioned with Erica, you know, she had the migraines. Joanne, uh, she really needs to have increased energy. That it's not just the weight loss, but it also seems to be like an overall improvement of health in general. Yeah. Weight's, yeah. weight's more the side effect, right? So mm -hmm. we want healthy people, right? Mm -hmm. And healthy people don't have a weight problem. Yeah. Um, okay. So if people are watching and they think this might be something for them, what's the first step? What do they need to do? First step is going to our website, happyhealthythin.com. You're going to book an appointment right there with one of our doctors, okay? And what you're going to get is a one-on-one -on -one, uh, hormonal body type assessment, a complete review of our system, and a body composition analysis. Typically, that appointment is $149. We're doing it for just 21, but that's for the first 21 people who book. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we don't need to see you today, but you do need to book your appointment today. Okay. And, and Seth, you are speaking from an area of experience. We just saw proof that this is a program that you went through yourself. You know what it's like to be in these individuals' shoes. And, I mean, I, I think that that speaks volumes when it comes to the success of this program and what to expect when you're, when you're doing it. Absolutely. And, you know, I tell everybody that you can be your biggest advocate or your own worst enemy. So it starts with the belief that, yes, you can lose the weight. Excellent. Okay, so one more time, you have a special offer for those watching today. Yes, happyhealthythin.com, $21 appointment for the first 21 people who book. Okay, and where can people go for more information? Happyhealthythin.com. Seth, thank you so much. Always really a pleasure. appreciate it. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.